very good morning students and welcome back to your english class today we are going to take a new chapter from your course book chapter number 9 dabba walas of mumbai dabba walas are people who deliver lunch boxes to office goers at their work workplaces across mumbai we read on to find out more about the daily life of a mumbai dabba wala Who is the Dabbawala? Dabbawala? Dabbawalas are the people you can see in Mumbai and all. On your way, while traveling, you can see a lot of people there with lunch boxes. They are delivering food there. They are paid for that, but they are doing it as a service. Okay? They deliver lunch boxes to office calls to the people who are working. and they will deliver it in their workplaces okay we can see in this chapter about the daily life of a mumbai dabba wala vithil bhai sets off to work he is a dabba wala of mumbai he balances a long wooden tray of the bus on his head each tiffin box has two or three containers usually of rice curry chapatis and vegetables they are to be delivered across the city in mumbai a team of 5000 dabba walas smoothly deliver home cooked lunches to people at their workplaces every single day the process begins early in the morning here we are talking about a dabba wala of mumbai and what is his name vithal bhai okay now he is going for workmen to deliver food okay now he is having a long wooden tray a lot of the bus the bus means the stiffen okay a lot of the bus are there on his head on a long wooden tray and each stiffen box is having two or three containers and what is there in that containers rice curry chapati and vegetables okay and he is going from there to different parts of the city he will deliver food among different parts of the city and there are a team of 5000 dabba walas in mumbai around 5000 dabba walas are there as a team in mumbai who deliver home cooked lunches to people okay and they starts the work of making the food and delivering from the early morning okay local dabba walas pick up lunch boxes from houses and caterers and take them to the nearest railway station okay what they do the bawalas they pick lunch boxes from houses from there will be people in houses or women in houses housewives will be there uh making food and delivering or handing it over to the bawalas to earn their money like that these the bawalas what they do they pick up the or they collect the lunch boxes from the houses and caterers caterers means uh the companies that they provide they are doing uh food and drink services for functions and all right and what these dabba walas do they collect the lunch boxes from houses and caterers and they take it to the nearest railway station vithil bhai reaches the last compartment of the noisy local train some of his friends have already arrived everybody is excited and t- talking at the same time now where he reaches he reaches at the railway station in the last compartment he enters the last compartment the local train it was a local train right so it is very noisy and many of his friends sorry some of his friends are already arrived the compartment they the, those people are also the bawalas and everybody is excited and they are so uh talking at the same time 
I never thought he could do it so easily. Loves Sushil. Vichal Bhai smiles and nods in agreement. Dear friend Prakash Bali Bache is in the news. He has created a Guinness World Record by carrying the most number of lauded praise on his head. They are proud of his achievement. Now, one of his friends named Sushil says that he never thought uh, he was talking about someone. Means he is talking about his friend Pragash Bali Bache. And they, his friend Sushil told that he never thought Pragash Bali would make it. And what is that? Here Vital Bai smiles and agrees what, with what Sushil says. And what was the uh, record of Pragash Bali? He has created a Guinness World Record by carrying the most number of throated praise on his head. Okay, you can see at the Bawala who is holding a tree and there are a lot of the bars on his head, right? So, here Pragash Bali Bache has created a Guinness World Record for what? For carrying the most number of lauded praise on his head. Now, all of his friends, all other the Bawaras were very proud of his achievement. As the train moves out of the station, Vitalbai arranges the dabbas according to the offices and areas where they need to be delivered using a coding system of letters and numbers. The dabbas are then loaded onto large rectangular trees that can hold up to 40 boxes. They are put onto local trains at various stations. At each station, another group of the Bawalas quickly remove the boxes for that area and load more the bars meant for other stations further on. Whittleby must ensure the painted details are visible and properly arranged before the train reaches the correct station. Now, now the train started moving from the station. Now what Whittleby is doing? He is arranging his defense. Okay, there will be marked numbers or letters will be marked as codes. And at each station, there will be the bawalas there. They will quickly remove the boxes um, for that area and they will load more defense for the next station. Now, Vitalbai is making sure that the painted letters or numbers as the codes are visible and properly arranged. When before the train reaches the correct station. As his station approaches, Vithilbai stands up. Local trains halt for barely 20 seconds or less. He must move with great speed and care. The helping hands of the Dabba Walas waiting at the station reach out from the platform. Now, uh, the train approaches the station, reaches the station where Vithilbai has to get down now he has to take care when he goes out with the tree with the long tree with full of the bus on his head he have to take care and we have to move with great speed because there are only 20 seconds barely 20 seconds only the local trains stops at each station the boxes in the trees are sorted once more before delivery Vital Bai arranges the final load of boxes into his tray. Another Dabawala helps him with the heavy load. With practice is Vital Bai lifts and lowers the law tray in rapid moves over his head. Now there is another Dabawala to help him. He has been doing or he has been he have been in Dabawala for years, right? So he can do it so fastly. So he is doing it so fastly. Then he sets out walking. He won't need a handcraft like some others who cover two or three areas. But the work does not end after delivery. A few hours later, the whole process starts again. But this time it works backwards. Now he, is, he can carry it on his head. He is not taking a handcart. To deliver to two or three areas some people are taking handcarts to deliver those foods to 
two or three areas but vittal bai does not need that now uh, after delivering the foods the work does not end why you have to collect the empty tiffin boxes or empty the bus from the people right so after few hours after delivering the food after few hours delivering the food you have to work again you have to take the the bus from the people so you have to collect the the bus from the people so it work backwards mithil bhai returns to pick up the empty boxes from the receptions of offices where he had left them he takes them back to the station where they are sorted for their journey home every day we deliver 175000 to 2 lakh lunch boxes to at mumbai mithil bhai says adjusting the white cap on his head now what he will do after delivering after few hours of delivering he will return back to the offices where he had left the lunch boxes he will go to the receptions and he will take back take back the empty boxes okay then uh, he will be go back to the railway station and he will go back home now he is telling that every day they are delivering 1 lakh to 75000 or 2 lakh lunch boxes throughout mumbai throughout mumbai they are delivering 1 lakh 75000 to two lakh lunch boxes my grandfather was one of mumbai's first bona walas vital bai ka news mahadu bachi saab had personally picked him when he began the dabba wala service in 1890 now i carry that great tradition forward he says proudly Vital Bai says that his grandfather was one of first Mumbai's first bona wala means the bawala, and he continues that Mahadu Bachi Sir means he is the founder of the bawala system of food delivery in Mumbai. Okay, he had personally picked his grandfather, Vital Bai's grandfather, when he began the dabba wala service in 1890. Now his moving that uh moving forward carrying the greek tradition at that time mumbai was a much smaller city mahadu hawaji bachi began a lunch delivery system with a team of 100 men they were soon known as bonawalas the meal men okay when it started means the dabbawala system was started mumbai was such a small city and mahadu hawaji bachi they began the lunch delivery system with a team of 100 men and they were known as bona walas means the meal men the dabba walas became famous after the bbc made a short film of them on them the film caught the attention of prince charles who wanted to meet his efficient team during a visit to india in november 2003 the men agreed to meet him at church gate station but one on one condition they were available only between 11:20 am and 11:40 am because lunch deliveries could not wait even for royalty now when did they the bawalas became famous the bbc news channel has uh, featured them as a short film about them as a short film and after watching that film prince charles you know who is prince charles he is the elder son of queen elizabeth elizabeth 2 of uk okay he wanted to meet these the bawalas when he had a visit to india in november 2003 and these the bawalas agreed to meet him where at the church gate station but they had a condition you know what they can meet him only between 11:20 am and 11:40 am why they have to deliver lunch because oh the lunch deliveries could not wait for even for 
the royalty means they mean prince charles okay that's all about the story this is a day in his in a dabba wala's life okay okay now let us move on to the drama section take page number 94 here are some phrases given below a small city an interesting idea the busy train we have already learned that articles a and n are used before singular countable nouns when no particular object is being talked about where we use the articles a m m before singular countable nouns see here a is used before single countable nouns beginning with consonant sounds we have already learned in small classes right a is used the article a is used before the nouns beginning with a consonant sound and an is used before a noun that begins with a vowel sound you already know what is vowel and consonant right so here a is used before singular countable nouns beginning with consonant sounds and an is used before singular countable nouns beginning with vowel sounds see here a tiffin box here which is the first letter which is the first sound tiffin box here this t right it's a consonant sound right next is a glass of juice glass it's also a consonant sound so we use a here here an ordinary d here o ordinary with begins with a vowel sound right so we use an here definite article the is used with singular and plural nouns when something is mentioned a second time the is also used with singular and plural nouns when it is clear to the listener or reader which person or thing is being talked about the busy train station the dabba walas and the article the is used with any noun that has a specific meaning or a noun referring to a single thing please note if the noun noun is something that can't be counted or something singular then you can use the article the and if it is countable you have to use the article a or an see here we also use the to refer to things which are unique that is when there is only one such thing here see the earth revolves around the sun earth is only one right and sun is only is also only one exists so we use the article the before these unique things if you are talking about unique things like earth moon sun we use the article the the sun rises in the east and sets in the west okay here sometimes we do not use an article in the sentence these sentences are called zero article sentences when we are speaking about things in general means samuel likes reading books about planes it's a general thing right so here we don't use any article and when we are speaking about meals places and transport i go to school by bus we are having lunch right now in these things we don't use any articles and before the names of subjects seasons languages body parts and abstract nouns we don't use articles okay now tick the sentences that do not require an article rewrite the other sentences in your notebook using a n or the in the correct places here are some sentences given below what you have to do is you have to tick the sentences that do not require an article means a n or the the sentences 
that do not require the articles a and or the you have to tick it now you have to rewrite the other sentences in your notebook by using the articles a and or the in the correct places okay you have to write it in your notebook here is the sentence given below you have to write the articles wherever required and you have to put a cross where and no article is needed where it is zero article you have to cross and other places you have to fill in the blanks with appropriate articles okay okay now look at these words heavy hard strong tough these words roughly mean the same thing however we should be careful when using them with other words here you can see four words heavy hard strong and tough all of them are having the same meaning right they are mean the same thing right now here it tells that as it means the same thing but we have to be careful these words are cannot be used the same everywhere we use each words with each sentences right so you have to read these sentences in the boxes and find where all you can use heavy where all you can use hard where all you can use strong and where all you can use tough okay now after reading that you have to complete these sentences using these words heavy tough hard and strong first you have to learn from this boxes where to use this I had a heavy lunch this afternoon. I will skip dinner today. He had a hard time putting the books back on the shelf. She is a strong woman. She is carrying all the heavy bags together. The hammer is made of tough steel. You have to refer to a dictionary and you have to study or learn the correct meanings of these words. and just look at the antonyms or opposites of these words and you can finally understand where to use these words now you have to complete these sentences using these words okay okay now take page number 96 read the read this definition of the bawala and the bawala is a person who delivers home cooked food to people at their offices and work places now here are three words given no sorry four words given oh the names of the professions okay here it is given the bawala and the definition of the bawala is given now you have to give the definition of these four professions you have to write it in your notebook okay take next chapter puppetry in india chapter number 10 page number 98 puppetry is an ancient form of popular folk entertainment glove rod shadow and string puppets originated in india around the 5th century bce read on to find out more about them you know what is puppetry pavakali okay let us read about the puppetry in india glove puppets hush mother said we have to go to watch chambakutis chambukutis pava kadakali performance tonight in the temple courtyard she continued what's pava kadakali amma asked amrita curiously they are glove puppets they are popular in kerala and used in performances come upstairs with me she said grandfather has a collection of glove puppets in the attic let me show them to you what is pava kadagali ancient glove puppet theater form found only in kerala performed by a community who moved from andhra pradesh to kerala 
in the 18th century. See, Ta Ba Kadakali. Okay. Now, here, the mother is telling her, the, her children that they have to go for to watch Pava Kadakali. Who is Pava Kadakali? Chambu Kuti is Pava Kadakali. And where it is going to be held in the temple courtyard at that night, right? Now, her daughter Amrita is asking, what is Pava Kadakali? Now, she is explaining that they are glove puppets and where it is popular it is popular in Kerala and she is calling Amrita to upstairs to show the collection of glove puppets of the grandfather mother opened an old iron trunk she carefully took out a bundle of cloth. She slipped the folds onto her hand, her right hand. A grand old king seemed to come alive. He wore rich robes of white, red and gold. Mother wriggled her fingers and thumbed at the children. The king seemed to be wagging his hands at them. The children giggled in surprise. Okay, you can see what is an old iron trunk. You can see a box there, right? So, their mother took out some a bundle of clothes from this old iron trunk. And she put her hands inside that, one of it. And they saw an old king. You can see in the picture, it seemed to become alive. She put her fingers and moved from inside that. And they seemed like the king is wagging his hands at them. And the children are surprised by seeing this. Mother took out a few more glove puppets from the trunk. The children took them gently in their hands. How cleverly made, how beautifully dressed. Each looked like a Kadagali actor. With heavy makeup, here and colorful costumes. The head and the arms are way carved of wood and joined together with thick cloth that was cut and stitched into a small bag. Okay, you can see that in the picture. Okay, there are a lot of puppets, log puppets there. You know what is Kadagali? An Indian dance from southern India right here the head and arms of the puppets were carved of wood and are joined together with thick cloth they are like the kunde notch glove puppets of odisha aren't they asked suraj our teacher showed us pictures of them she said the puppeteer Place on a dhalak with one hand and controls the puppet with the other. The dialogue and the moments and the dhalak all create an exciting atmosphere. Is it the same for Pavakadagali? He is asking. Now, Suraj is asking, is it the same of the Kunde Nach or the Pavakadagali or Glow puppets in Odisha? He told that his teacher has showed them pictures from school and she said that the puppeteer plays on a dhalak you know what is dhalak this there a kind of indian drum where the puppeteer is played the puppeteer placed on a dhalak with one of his hand and controls the puppet with the other and he says the dialogue with that. Okay, now Suraj is asking, is it the same that of Pava Kadagali? This is a separate orchestra for this performance. They perform all long shows from the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. Mother explained, you will love what you see tonight. Chambukuti is an expert puppeteer. She said smiling. 
means puppeteer means uh, the one who operates or who makes the puppets okay now the mother is explaining that it is not the same as the puppet show in kunde so in odisha they are having separate orchestra orchestra means uh, there will be a group of music- musicians playing different types of instruments like drums violin flute etc they all together make an orchestra okay now here she is explaining that they will be performing the stories of ramayana and mahabharata and she tells that chambukuti who is going to perform today is an expert puppeteer now we have learned about glove puppets next is road puppets baban take your place it's nearly time said his father they were a small group of putal nach or dancing doll puppeteers from a village in west bengal baban took his place behind the high head high bamboo curtain he checked the bamboo socket tied firmly to his waist very carefully he picked up a long bamboo rod which had a bamboo puppet at its end he placed the rod into the socket and arranged the folds of the costume to hide the rod the one and the half meter puppet of hanuman stood up tall and strong about the platform you can see it here in the picture there are two bamboo rods and a puppet is placed in between that it is attached to the two rods right now baban and his father is performing the putul nach right or dancing doll puppeteers Okay, you can see that in the picture when tugged at the action rods connected to the hands of the puppet immediately hanuman seemed to be thumping his mighty chest ready to go to war today's show was hanuman's journey to langa to find sida baban was very excited this was the first time he was playing the lead character he cleared his throat the pipes began to play and the drums pounded out a hearty welcome a loud cheer went up with from the audience followed by a loud applause what they are playing what the story of hanuman's journey to langa to find sita and it was baban's first performance to le- playing a lead character and he was very excited and he played it well right next is shadow puppets the bright oil lamp cast a lovely glow on the semi transparent white cloth the flat leather puppets present pressing against the screen appro- appeared as colorful slots and en- enhanced the viewers the light behind them did the trick now we have learned about rod puppets and glove puppets here we are going to learn about shadow puppets glove puppets are the puppets that can be played the puppet show that can be played with our hand the puppets will be in the shape of in the form of a glove right and road puppets are a puppet that is attached to two bamboo rods now we are going to learn about shadow puppets there will be a bright oil lamp which will be having a lovely glow it will be placed beneath a semi transparent white cloth now there will be flat leather puppets they will be playing against the screen they can be seen as colorful slots slots means the dark shapes shadows and outlines of someone or something that are visible against a brighter background you can see it in the picture okay you can see that and Preet played the harmony with great confidence. The shadow puppet strung together on a rope performed the final dance of celebration to finish the performance. Here Preet is playing the harmonium. They are playing the shadow puppet show.
the show was a big hit and the show excited the show excitedly i never thought i would learn so much about the art of karnataka and tagalu gombe atta he declared with a big smile on his face and i didn't think i could manage a harmonium after learning a keyboard chuckle breath now kishore and preet is telling about the show they talking about the show they told that they had made a big hit what was the name of the art to galo kombe atta and preet also says that he had played a harmonium after learning keyboard i love the red blue green and black colors of the puppets said saniga the same vegetable colors are used in the shadow puppets of my stage of maharashtra oh what are they called as kisho they are popular in an area called ratnagiri they are known locally as samadhyachi bahulya now they are saniga and kishore is talking about the puppet show or the shadow puppet show in maharashtra there in a popular area ratnagiri they call it as samadhyachi bahulya what are the performances about well it's the same i suppose mostly from epics like the ramayana but with folk tunes as background music saniga said we really have such a rich tradition in our country don't we she said as they all walked out of the green room now they are discussing that they play the stories of ramayana and they see that there is a rich tradition in india right okay now take page number 102 and after reading the chapter you have to complete these boxes okay take page number 103 read these sentences they are like the kundenaj glow puppets of odisha aren't they asked suresh next is we really have such a rich tradition in our country don't we she said here there are some words in color right they are called the question tags here a question tag is a short question that follows a statement this is usually used in spoken english here this is a statement right they are like the kuntenaj glow puppets of odisha and followed by this this here came the question tag a short question right it is called the question tag we use question tags when we want to know if the listener agrees with what you are saying okay when we are talking with someone and we are talking and he is the listener the other person is the listener and if you want to know whether he agrees with us we will ask a short question like isn't he don't you right and these question short questions are called question tags we use negative question tags after positive or affirmative sentences susna is coming back today isn't he isn't she as is a negative question tag right isn't so we are using this after a positive sentence we use positive question tags after negative sentences she wouldn't have time to chat and write would she okay here there are the rules to where we use question tags when the sentence does not have an auxiliary or helping verb we use to don't does doesn't did didn't in the question tag alison plays tennis listen here here there is no helping verbs along the this right so we are using the question tag here we use to don't does or doesn't if the sentence is in the simple present tense if the sentence is in the pre- simple present tense which question tags we use do don't does or doesn't if it is in if the sentence is in simple past tense we use did or didn't along with as a question tag you have to do is 
choose the best question tag to complete these sentences. That camera was a very good buy, wasn't it? First you have to read the rules and after that you have to complete these sentences using the best question tag. Okay. Now rewrite the sentences which have incorrect question tags in your notebook. You have to rewrite these sentences. Some sentences are having incorrect question tags. You have to rewrite it in your notebook. Okay. This will work for you. Make a colorful poster inviting students and teachers to watch a puppet show which your class is planning to put up. You should include details like here you can see a picture of your poster, right? Like that you have to make a colorful poster inviting students and teachers to watch a puppet show which is going to be held or by your class you should include details like the name of the play what are the things you have to include in the poster the name of the play the date and time when the play will be staged and the place or venue where it will be staged the name of the lead characters and who will be playing the puppets why they should not miss the play you have to include these details in the poster and you have to make a colorful poster today itself okay okay that's all about the class today thank you